All right, what's up, dude? What's up, Kevin? Thanks for joining, man. Uh, I'm doing good. Um, it's uh, pretty awesome with coronavirus going around. I've been at home for three weeks doing jack shit. Uh, and so you've been staying safe? Uh, I don't use condoms, but I did stay home. Hell yeah, my man, dude. Me neither. That shit's gay. Yeah, but I do pull out. <laughs> that shit is straight as fuck. Condoms are gay. Like Condoms are gay, but pulling out, I don't know. I can't really tell. Hey, how many girls have you gotten pregnant? Oh, we're going to do this. Uh, somewhere between one and three, and I can't, I don't actually know the actual number. So, I mean, what do you pull out? Never. I mean, well, can you explain to me why? <laughs> I just I don't get it. Like, it's so easy. You just do that. Uh, cause it's like right before I go to pull out, the pussy's like a tractor beam and just sucks me in further. And oh, you're going to, you're going to blame it on the pussy. <laughs> I blame every, I blame everything. on pussy. You blame it on the pussy. I blame everything on pussy. Oh, but it's, blame... it's like one of those Chinese finger traps, dude. Like I know I should pull yeah. out, but it just like, so you pull out of me and I'm like, ah, fuck it going further. Yeah, dude, yeah. I can't. You have a, do you have a girlfriend? Nah, but right before I blow my load, you know, I kind of like drop my shoulders. It's like going further and like just push it in. So you just get right next to the uterus? As close as possible. That's your problem, dude. Like you just got to do cream pies. Out. Do something. Like, like punch her in the stomach to, to like force it out like some toothpaste? Like no, that. you can just suck it back up. Just, you know? Free to felcher. Dude, I mean, there's like a, have you ever watched like cuck porn? No, I'm not Andrew Davis. Oh, uh, well, I pretend I'm the the black guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. I pretend I'm the black guy. <laughs> so, but there's people who watch it who want to be the white guy. Yeah, Andrew Davis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Andrew Davis is, but he sounds cool. You don't know Andrew Davis, the giant cup of San Diego? No, I didn't know there was a title like that. Uh, he's like, is it official? Like the mayor was like, here you go, bro. Yeah, he has a sash and everything that he wears. What? That's uh, actually, dude, that's impressive. <laughs> I mean, he could go to he could go to regionals, right? Be <laughs> yeah, no, cuck of the West. He's fucking semi state for sure already. Dude. The Western Conference of Cucking. Oh, he's fuck yeah. The he's, WCC. He would definitely be Western Conference champion for sure. Damn, that's saying a lot, dude. That's D one at yeah. the very least. D one. <laughs> Giant. You hear that, Andrew Davis? You're a giant cuck. I can't wait. This is the clip I make and put on YouTube for this episode, like the trailer for this episode. Oh, word. How much of a cuck Andrew Davis is. Well, what makes him cucky? You just have to meet him, dude. Oh, okay. He's one. Is he like, is he like, well, Andrew Davis is, you know, is he a person that you could describe just by saying his name again? Like, oh, it's Andrew Davis. Well, you know, he's Andrew Davis. For sure, dude. That's exactly what he is, dude. Like, he's a really, like, loud, like, animated and, like, too happy of a comedian. Are you like, saying that you don't like him because you're he's happy? Uh, I mean, yeah. It's, I don't like any happy person, but he's, like, especially shouldn't. You just have to meet him, dude. He kind of reminds me, like, of Pinky in the Brain. He's, like, Pinky. He's just, <laughs> he's just, like, I kind of like him already. I, I, want, I, want, I would love to have my own Pinky. He's like a tall, loud, goofy cut, dude. Like you just, you just have to meet him, dude. He's the worst. Wow. So speaking of this, uh, speaking of the coronavirus, um, isn't it crazy how like all the travel and shit has been shut down? Like people can't fly anywhere and shit. Um, I mean, fuck those people anyway. I don't ever fly. You were not really. You were in a dick pillow. What I well, dude, you know I'm in the lazy boy, and with this I'm in the laziest boy. But what what actually excites me about coronavirus is the six foot rule. Like I think after this is all over, we should just keep that rule. Oh, you don't want to go within? Nah, fuck that, dude. What do you I'm mean not... fuck that? You don't want to? You don't want motherfuckers in your area? Not dudes. Well, I mean, like yeah, you can let people into your bubble, but the. 
the societal standard should be stay the fuck away from me. Hell no. Nah. I want the girl to flat out say she doesn't want me around. and not You want the shit to be like a Japanese subway? Oh, dude, that's my favorite. <laughs> that's your dream? I'm, I'm the first guy. I'm the guy that like kind of bumps into her with like the back of my hand. And then like the other guy comes in and like grabs her butt, you know, like I'm the first guy that like bumps into her with like my hip. Oh, yeah. Is that like a fantasy? Is that something you want to do? Fantasy? Oh, yeah, that's something I want to do. Okay. What are you thinking about? <laughs> nah, I mean, the buses are shut down. It kind of, I mean, they're still going, actually. The buses? Yeah, the buses are still going. Still going. I don't know, dude. You take the bus? Fuck no, I got a BMW, baby. What's up? Oh, shit. BMW, you got. You live in a penthouse. You, you, I ain't got no paper plates either, bitch. Always yeah, like, dude, you got ceramic plates. now? Like, dude. I've always had fucking real plates. Ceramic, man. Like, you... I'm proud of you. You fucking cocksucker. Like, oh, man. Hey, for the right a... price. For the right price, yeah. I got knee pads in the car, right in the trunk. Speaking, uh, speaking of right price, I know uh, when I was talking to you before, you were saying uh, you had a unique uh, gig recently. Oh, yeah. Um, so I got a new job. Um, so me and my buddy, we actually got hired together. And my buddy, um, well, drug test and a background check. And, you know, he's dirty, right? Yeah. Um, so he actually went online and bought this uh, stuff, uh, just fake piss. And he used it, and he – and there's a whole entire market for that. Yeah, dude. Like, even NFL players and shit use that. Really? And then why do they – why did – what's his name still get, get caught? Fucking um, – that running back, he just kept smoking weed. Because he, oh, Ricky Williams? Cause he retarded. Yeah, Ricky Williams. How come Ricky Williams just didn't buy that? Because he's fucking retarded. Like, they tell you when it's going to happen, too, in the NFL. It's not a secret. Yeah. Also, he told me that they don't even watch you. He told you? Yeah. When did you talk to him? Um, this was probably, like, three weeks ago. You talked to Ricky Williams? No, not, not Ricky Williams. Like, my buddy who got hired with me. Oh, I was like, damn, would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he said, like, they don't even watch you. They just say, hey, go in there. They only watch you in the military and uh, probation, like, if you get arrested. Oh, really? Then how come they even do that? Because it, it, it just seems like you could just spend money and then – Well, there's one just, called the Wizenator that looks like a fake dick that you stick in your – stick through your hole in your pants. Well, if they don't watch you, what's the point of a Wizenator? No, like, if – I don't know. Dude. Oh, so you can, like, sneak it in or something? I don't know. But, yeah, they oh, have, Well, my buddy, he just strapped it to his leg. Yeah. Yeah. With a hand warmer. But he made oh yeah, yeah, they come with a hand warmer. But you but he made it, right? Like he passed? Yeah, dude. Uh <laughs> so he passed, no, no problem. No, you know, nobody was the wiser. Uh, and you know, it kind of makes me happy. What's his name and birth date and phone number? Um name? I don't know. <laughs> you gotta turn him in. Oh. Yeah, people you can't have these people in the workforce, dude. Like, oh, I know. I know, right? What's the point? I mean, that's, to be honest, that's why I really like how there's a whole market for this. Like, I kind of think about it. There's like these two, there's two kinds of nerds, right? <laughs> right. So, like, the first set of nerds are like, yeah, I'm going to catch people fucking with a drug test. And then there's these second nerds that go, fuck you. We're, <laughs> we're beating the drug test. Right. But, like, I, like, I always thought, the reason why I thought uh, pre-employment Drug tests for bullshit, because, like, if I'm a crackhead and you can't tell during the interview, that's just fun, dude. Like, I know, right? That's the game like, we're playing, dude. I won like that. Dog. I got all my teeth. <laughs> I won that round, dude. Like, I know, know, right? Then you just gotta, that's the game we're playing, dude. It's a dance. Yeah. I mean, have you ever been to a halfway house? Uh, I've been to one. I never lived in one. Oh, yeah. Well, why did you go to one? Uh, this guy that I used to work with, like, used to be homeless, and then, uh, like, my job, like, hired him when he was homeless to, like, be a janitor or some shit, and then, like, after they hired him, he, like, moved to a halfway house, and then... Well, so, why is he even called a halfway house? Like, halfway to what? I don't know, halfway out of jail and halfway into real life or something? I don't know. Damn. Well, uh, they should pick a better name, because it just seems like you're not really going, going anywhere. 
right? Everything's modern names now. How like a janitor is like a custodial engineer or whatever. Like you gotta come, special, cleaning service specialist. Right. You got to come up with a, yeah, you need a better name for the halfway house, dude. Yeah. Uh, what's your title? HNIC? <laughs> Not yet. About to be, dude. I keep fucking starting fights with people. Oh, real? Oh, well. So did that lesbian chick, did she fucking quit or she got fired? Uh, yeah, she got fired. What did she do? Just fucking terrible. She fucking cried all the time and shit. It's fucking annoying. Was she qualified? Nah, she sucked. She. How did she? So how did she get through? Was she hot? <laughs> no, she fucking literally no redeeming quality. Like fucking not a good worker, not good looking. Fucking cried all the time and shit. Couldn't do anything. It's fucking terrible. Terrible to talk to. I was like annoyed all the time. And she went to Berkeley, and I was like, oh god, dude, you're like the fucking. Well, how do you go to Berkeley and just fuck up that terribly? Uh, fuck Berkeley, dude. They're all a bunch of fucking weirdos and shit up there. Dude. Yeah, but they're at least they're smart. Yeah, not her. Dude. Fucking, she couldn't. Yeah. Set up, she had trouble setting up like a fucking Mac product. And I'm like, this thing's Apple. Dude, like, I, I haven't even fucking gone to college, and I'm making bucks. <laughs> fucking college is for losers, to be honest. Um, I'm only going for fun now. Yeah. Uh, what What are you doing in college? Communications. That's where all the hot girls are at. That's true, dude. That's where all the future, like, reporters or sideline reporters and shit are doing. Not really. They're just going to be housewives and yo or yoga moms. Oh, yeah, dude. I love them fucking yoga moms. Uh, do you, you, dude, you do, you do not do yoga. <laughs> I didn't say I did. I said I love yoga moms. You do fucking donuts. <laughs> uh, you can do better than that, dude. That was weak. I know. Well, hey. Weak. You try. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta throw you, you gotta, gotta fucking throw. donut around your neck dude what's up what you gotta donut around your neck yeah well i mean it, it feels good <laughs> have you seen that that tiger fucking king show yeah what do you think about it dude my favorite line in that thing when the dude was like um the fuck did he say he goes he was trying to get he was trying to recruit the straight guy to be gay with him and his, his husband yeah <laughs> and the, his fucking logic was like hey you like watching porn and the dude's like yeah and he's like you know you like to see them big dicks or you like to see f uh, small dicks fucking and he's like well big dicks obviously he goes right. well obviously you're not completely straight right dude he <laughs> stole that that's a ron white bit oh really ron white did that uh uh, Ron White did that on the uh, Blue Collar Comedy Tour. That was like, oh, a, that was like one of his main bits. Hey, knowledge is knowledge is uh, does, does knows no time. That's why when like I saw that, I was like, all you comedians didn't notice that because everyone on Facebook, you know, is posting about it. And I was like, none of you motherfuckers noticed that's a Ron White bit because Ron White's bit was like, uh, uh, yeah, basically the exact same thing. And he's like, oh, do you, when you watch porn, do you like big dicks or small dicks? And he's like, big dicks. And he's like, oh shit, I didn't know that about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, but like he didn't turn gay because of that. He was just gay for the meth, right? Ima imagine, dude, imagine being 21 years old and the guy just tells you that. And you go, you're, you're sitting there like, well, man, guy's got a point. <laughs> He's got a lot of tigers. I guess when you're on that much meth and, you know. Yeah, and there's a chick with no hand. Yeah, dude. And he got, uh, yeah, the chick got her arm bit off. And then, uh, yeah, like, like he, literally, even Joe Exotic got where he shot the tiger and was like dragging him by the foot and shit. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a guy with no legs. <laughs> like, everybody, everybody's like some sort of fucked up there. Yeah, dude. Like, oh uh, man, I can't believe it. Shaq was there. Do you see a video where like Shaq showed up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where he bought his tiger. And then he put in a, he put out a tweet or whatever recently. And he's like, oh, I didn't know all that shit was going on. Yeah. I mean, whatever, dog. You got you got you a tiger. You seen any other uh, crazy shit since this coronavirus started? Uh, I mean, not really. That's like the only thing. I, oh, oh, dude, I saw there was a I didn't catch the whole thing, but the tail end of that little a little peep documentary. Oh, uh, he died, right? Overdosed. Or yeah, something? he overdosed. Fucking weak. Yeah. Shit's weak, son. But his name is Gustav. Learn how to do your drugs, dude. Don't die like a little bitch. Yeah. Or just dose yourself. Like, dude weighs 115 pounds wet. Uh, yeah, I know. And uh, I know earlier you were saying something about, like, your friend uh, went to Italy. 
Oh, yeah, 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 dude. So my friend went to Italy, right? Yeah. And so she's went right before coronavirus. Now she's stuck in Italy. So maybe like three weeks ago now, she put out like this ad on Instagram to, hey, I got to move all my stuff out by the first and I'll uh, like, I'll pay you, DM me for details. So I hit her up and well, it also said like, uh, also there's a, a lot of questionable items in there. So please, uh, with uh, this requires this, uh, an open mind, right? <laughs> That's what so, she can do. Yeah. So I did it just for that, right? So I was just like, oh, dude, I'll, <laughs> I'll do that. Um, so I hit her, yeah, I hit her up. Is that in the ad or she told you yeah, that? Yeah, that was in the ad. Oh, yeah, I definitely would respond to that ad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, dude, I, I, at first I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, dude, I want to see what's in there. Like, I, I want to go through this chick's stuff. Like, I just want to see a glimpse of their life. Because you want to see a dildo. It's basically it got to be a dildo if a girl's saying something's questionable, right? What else Actually, this was multiple. A multiple? Multiple dildos? Yeah, there was like. At least six. Damn! What's one pussy gonna do with six dildos? I don't know. I mean, I, I counted all the holes up, and I just I I only counted three. I mean, put them in her ears and shit. Or she's doubling up, dog. And some DVDA. That's four right there. And well, like in five mouth. There you go, dude. Oh, six, seven. She's one dick short. Maybe I didn't find it. <laughs> She had it in her the whole time. You know? <laughs> that sounds like the end of a fucking story. <laughs> it was in she had the dildo inside her the entire time. <laughs> what else? Uh, do you find anything else crazy in there and shit? Um, I found a mask, like um, you know, like those leather masks. Yeah. And with like, the, a, like with the with the zipper over the mouth and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. What is that called? Uh, like a gimp mask. A gimp mask? Yeah. What's a gimp? Gimp? I don't know, dude. Just Google it. I yeah, but like, what's the, what's the point of wearing it? I have no idea, dude. We should, we should, can we add her on here? We should, we should have invited her to the meeting. <laughs> well, she's stuck in, well, here's the other thing too. Um, so she's in Italy with just this guy and she, she didn't say she, he was her sugar daddy. But I'm pretty – well, dude, he flew her out to fucking Italy to stay in their mountain cabin. Yeah, that's a sh – uh, So, yeah, this dude's definitely taking shits on her, right? You have to be the same age as someone – I mean, do you have to be older to be a sugar daddy, or can a sugar daddy be the same age as you? You, can, you, you just need money. You just need sugar, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need, some sugar. Oh, yeah, time to start working. I know, right? But yeah, I mean, uh, That's what I'm shooting you, for. Dude, I, uh, this was like three weeks ago and I was talking to her, you know, setting this up. So it was like 200, I got like 200 bucks, a uh, fucking brand new bed, brand new TV. So, and I got to go through all this girl shit. And let me tell you, dude, she lives a very interesting life. When I went in there, it was just, there, everything was just out on the bed and the floor. And like, when I say everything, like all her, all her clothing was just, it was just like used G-strings, fucking all those dildos cocaine scales and baggy damn hustle, i know baby. yeah dude, what, she looked like, what'd you do with all that stuff okay. what's that i don't like to play with my nose you don't or you do no i don't so you just threw it away yeah i just threw it away i don't know how to i don't know what the market value of cocaine is go like this you fucking slap yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh, uh, did, did you say anything to her about it or you just Hell yeah. I said I found your Coke. And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you you didn't dude, it was in an iPhone it was in an iPhone box. So you were like going through shit. It wasn't like you just Oh yeah, I was going through shit, dude. I'm I'm dedicating my time to fucking do this. I'm gonna look through everything. Yeah, I mean I would have looked through fucking everything too. I mean that was half the Actually, that was all the allure, and then the two hundred dollars bed and TV was just gravy. So you got a a free bed and a, like a flat screen TV. Yeah, flat screen. It's like a Sony Bravia. And oh, uh, damn! And two hundred bucks. Yeah, and two hundred bucks. That sounds like a good deal, dude. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, dude. She's stuck in Italy with this dude, and she was saying, "I'm not. Uh, I don't really know if I like him." And I told her, "I was like, well, you have to like. You're going to have to fuck him because." 
Like, <laughs> you're stuck in a foreign country. You can't fly home. And then if you go on bad terms with them, uh, hey, bitch, get the fuck out. But now they're dating. Like, for real? Yeah, for real. Not like for ransom or some shit? So, I have her car, too. But if she's not coming back, I was like, dude, I'll buy your car. Is it a nice car? Dude, it's a Subaru. Nah, yeah. It's nice. Well, uh, shit, uh, shit handles well. <laughs> so, you've driven it and shit? I, well, I had to get it to my house. <laughs> So what happened to like her place? Like, uh, she, so you needed to move all her shit out, basically, right? Is that what yeah, yeah. I'm holding it in my garage right now. She needed to. She needed to do that to get her deposit back. What'd you do with her panties? Uh, sniffed them and then put them in a bag. <laughs> what the would keep? you? The keep or throw away? To, I, no, to put it to hold it for her. I'm sure she wants her panties. Oh, like you? Oh, if, you're she, her shit. I thought you were just throwing it away for her. No, no, no. I was putting it in a bag. I mean. Okay. Worst, I mean, maybe even best case scenario for me. Um, she says she doesn't want any of her shit, and then I sell her dirty used panties. Right. And I could just take pictures of her on Facebook. And I mean, she's not super hot, but like, hey, she's an attractive girl. So she's hot, and then you can sell her dirty panties on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll just like, I could crop in pictures of feet or whatever they want. Right. Um, I can make some bucks, dog. I'll help you. Uh, I'll tell you how. You just got to set up a, a, a Snapchat and have people send you money on Cash App. Nope, I'm doing it on eBay. <laughs> eBay will take it down and they get a cut. What? eBay will take that shit down, dude. Hell no, they won't. They got like a filter. If you put in dirty panties, dude, it immediately <laughs> is like, no. You can post it. Well, can you explain to me why you know that? <laughs> I work in IT. I feel like that's pretty niche knowledge. <laughs> I work in IT. I'm supposed to know information. Well, it's there's literally no need in your job to know that. Hey, man, I'm a resourceful person. I know lots about the world. Still... I know you don't throw away a bunch of cocaine either. I know that. <laughs> I don't know why you're giving me so much shit, dude. I don't use cocaine. No one does. It's not even a thing people do, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your girlfriend? No, it's <laughs> it's my it's my dog. I actually just got a new dog. Did you? Uh, what kind of dog? Uh, it's like a big ass border collie. What's the name? Kai. I call him Kyle. For long, You're like, hey Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. Hey, just when I'm mad at him, it's like, damn it, Kyle. But uh, well, here's a story. It's kind of weird how that happened too. I was looking. For, I wanted to like rescue a greyhound. But yeah. they told me it's going to take a year. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm not rescuing a greyhound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that. So, yeah, dude. So I went on Facebook and I started joining like rehoming and adopting groups. Yeah. And this lady was like, hey, I'm looking to sell my dog. Uh, oh, not sell. Rehome my dog, blah, blah, blah. And so she brought him over and this dog's super cool. And so basically she lost her job. She's going to have to move on to a boat. Like. It's not looking good to give up her dog. And um, yeah, I got a, she used to be a dog trainer until she lost her job. But um, this dog is so well trained. Like he, uh, he, he pees outside. He tells you when he wants to pee outside. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he sits, stays. Um, wa he watches you, you know, if you tell him. So super well trained, very happy that went. I mean, sucks for her. Um, but really good for me, I guess. Right. No, I get it. How long you had it? Uh, like a week now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Takes big shit. Dude, he takes like human-sized shits. Oh, yeah? Do you pick well, it up? Like, of course. Oh, I have to. Or I step. Oh, do you want to pick it up or step on it? You know? That's the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, but like, dude, I was looking at it, and I'm like, dude, like, I could take this shit right here, and nobody wouldn't be the wiser. Oh, if it, like you yourself could just shit there? Yeah, if I shit there myself, everybody like, damn, dude, that dog took a big shit. Man, this is San Diego, not San Francisco. You can't just have people shit. It's my backyard. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, still, we don't want to be like San Francisco, shit everywhere. Yeah. So, you have a girlfriend? Uh, no. I don't got shit. Cause yeah. I can't even go out to the bars right now. Uh, so, like, how are you finding chicks? Fuck. I'm trying to get on Tinder and shit, which fucking I hate Tinder. I'm just, 
Are yeah. you you're not scared of catching Corona off some fucking dirty dirty Tinder bitch? Hell nah, dude. I fucking raw dog strippers, bro. I don't fucking I don't give a fuck. Yeah. What was her name? <laughs> I can't say. Uh, what was her stripper name? <laughs> can't say. Uh, I, <laughs> there's more than one, but yeah. one in particular I definitely can't talk about. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I just got a girlfriend. She's uh from Thailand. Girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, I got a girlfriend. She's or girlfriend. Well, she's the one I keep around. Oh, okay. You know, she's cool. I mean, I really love her. She's awesome. But I mean, you want to know the best thing about her? Huh? Doesn't speak any English. Oh, that's like my favorite, dude. I look for that actually. Oh, uh, really? So, uh, what do you look for exactly? Like, if they have a vagina. And don't speak English. Broken English, actually, are my two things. Like a, a vagina and broken English. Oh, yeah. Well, like, what's next? Broken broken phone screen? <laughs> Fucking bound feet. I like a side. <laughs> oh, yeah? You look at bound feet. five feet, nothing bigger, dude. I like a small Asian foot. So you specifically like Asians. Is Asian <laughs> number one? <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. And then what's under that? Black? Way under. Uh, I was White? Yeah, yeah. Asian. No, Asian. I don't know. Asian, white, and Mexican are all basically tied. <laughs> For first? Yeah. Okay, well, who's who's fourth? I don't know. Everything else. Black? <laughs> what, um, Dude, what Indian it? girls are fucking bad. I feel like Indian chicks are either like a 10 or like a 3. Like they're <laughs> usually hot or like really ugly. Well, yeah, that's why you got to get yourself a hot one. Yeah. Well, you know what? Never mind. I know you're. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, because I was talking about shitting in the streets. No, because you're you're definitely not pulling tens. Oh, get the fuck out of here! I get yeah, especially an Indian bitch. I don't want it. Fuck that! I'll just yell at her like her dad does, dude. She'll fucking fall right for me. You know how strict the Indian dad is and shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like I'm disappointed in you. Blah, 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 whatever their names are, I don't know. Like, was that your Indian accent? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, sounded like, you sounded like Al Bundy, <laughs> dude. What's her name? Is super hot on that show. Which one, Kelly? Your daughter? Oh my god, dude! Yeah. In half the episodes, her tits are fucking like n- her nipples are hard. We didn't even know that back in the day before there was HD and shit. When we watched it live, you couldn't even tell her titties were hard. What? But now that they put it out again like in HD a couple years ago like damn her titties were hard the whole time we didn't even yeah. know we had shitty TVs back then no one had dark titties yeah that was like the greatest day when it came out like on Netflix oh, or whatever how, how old are you how old am I 35 okay you're only five years older than me hell yeah once they put married with children in HD we're like oh damn her titties look at that we didn't even know oh yeah that old bitch oh the mom yeah hey dude she's she was Looking thick. Yeah, she has some big old titties too. Oh, I know. Do you, and she has some big old, big old attitude. But, hey, I would love, love, love to fucking shut her shit down while pushing her shit in. <laughs> I mean, that's that's ideal relationship. Yeah, you know, pull her hair a little bit, tell her she's a dirty whore. All right. What's the, crazy, what's the craziest sexual thing you've done? Uh, craziest thing I've done, I don't know, maybe a threesome or something, I guess. That's it? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I lost my virginity in, a, like, a church parking lot. Um, cool. One time this girl threw up on my dick. Oh, it happened to me, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, things just don't register as crazy to me, dude. Like, if, if I, like, just had, like, a story, people were like, oh, yeah, that's crazy. But, yeah, it definitely happened to me. Yeah, we're, like, brothers now. I know, right? I wonder if it was the same chick. Mm, probably not. <laughs> I remember it, too, because, like, I was in college, and uh, I, she wasn't, like, my girlfriend or anything, but we were banging a lot. And then uh, she told, like, all the girls in her dorm that, like, I, like, banged her brains out or whatever. And then, like, the first time I we went over to her dorm, like, all the girls were, like, looking at me, like, <laughs> but I picked yeah, her up yeah. from, like, a party, and she was, like, drunk as fuck, and we went back to the dorm, 
And like before we were about to bang, like she gave, she was like sucking my dick. And then like right when I blew my load in her, she just fucking or in her mouth, she just like rolled over and started like puking and shit. Oh, but and she then, didn't puke on your dick. Well, no, like eh, I guess not. Well, this girl, um, the other puked on my dick. So this is the first time I got a blowjob, right? And I was about 17 years old, and all my experiences just come from watching porn. Right. So apparently, you're not supposed to like jam their head on your cock. <laughs> Especially if it's their first time sucking dicks. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what I did. If I didn't know, you couldn't do that because immediately she threw up on my dick. And well, first, I'm just like looking at it, and then she starts crying, right? So then I get hard again. <laughs> and now now I'm hard with all this with all this vomit on my on my cock. And so that's actually what my friends started calling me, vomit cock. Vomit cock. Yeah, yeah. I was known throughout different school districts. How come you never told that story on stage? That was probably not that funny. No, that's fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> Especially vomit cock. You just gotta yeah. put like one or two tags in there and that's a fucking great bit. Oh, you think so? Well, this is a true story. This is this. Is, well, dude, I did it behind a dumpster. <laughs> See? That makes it even better, dude. Like, let me I'll, give me the details, and I'll write it out for you, dude. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. What else? Um, well, this is. So this you were getting better. a blow job behind a dumpster, and they threw up on your dick. That's the clearly a. That's clearly a homeless chick, dude. Like. No, 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 no. She was my friend's cousin. This is, it she sounds was, like a homeless. Like chick. one of those scene girls, you know. Oh, okay. With, like, the mascara, like, the little fucking weird hair. Little pixie-looking bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she was a little thicker, but, I mean, <laughs> it was a blowjob, right? Uh, that's why she threw up so much, dude. It's all the food she was eating. Yeah, well, do you know what she said right after she threw up on my dick? Well, she cried, and then and then, uh, then she said, I shouldn't have eaten that quesadilla. <laughs> Uh, you want to know the worst part? Uh -huh. I had to use my favorite shirt to clean up fucking quesadilla vomit off uh, my car. Uh, you didn't have to. You couldn't like just wipe it on her or something? Oh, no, dude. Well, she started crying and shit, and I had to hold her and be like, it's okay. And then she said, do you still want to have sex? And I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I said, no. See, you should use her vagina to wipe off the puke. Just fucking shove the... You know what? The story was pretty good. I should have said yes. Yeah, you totally should have banged her. Yeah. When you I actually the story did, on stage actually to did. say you banged her with the puke dick. No, I actually did bang her later that night. Well, you walked, you took a shower or something? Mm, well, I went, yeah, I took a shower. Well, that's the other thing. So I told my mom I was going to work and I couldn't go back home to take a shower. So I had to call my friends and then kind of, it, I, they, and I was like, dude, can I come to your house and use your shower? And everybody asked, well, why? And I'm like, oh, dude, I got I got some shit. I gotta go. I'm running to work, and I can't go home. He's like, well, why do you need to use my shower? And I'm like, okay, if I tell you, you won't tell anybody? And he's like, yeah. Or he said, no, he won't tell anybody. But, yeah, he meant, yeah, I'm going to tell everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, I tell You're him. You're known like, as Vomit Cock now. Yeah, that's why I was known as Vomit Cock. Because so he's, he's the like, one that told everybody. I told, yeah, exactly. Well, he's like, you let some real vomit on your cock? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was a fun year. Uh, I was, uh, I met this other chick when I was in college. I met this other chick like uh, online and I had this apartment, but um, like she wanted to like hang out or whatever. And then I was like, oh, I can't come over because my car is like in the shop. I got, I don't know. I think there's something wrong with my car, but it's like in the shop. And I was like, oh, I can't come over. My car's in the shop. And she's like, oh, well, I'll come pick you up if you stay the night. Was well, she like, Southern? Uh, no, she's black, though. Oh, oh, I thought you said you don't like the blacks. Yeah, but, I mean, I fuck lots of chicks I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> was, she, was she a bigger girl, too? Yeah. She got some dunk? She was a big, she was a BBW. Oh, yeah? Like a SBW? She was like a BBBW. What are they? Was she like a small BBW or like she a BBW? Was a, she was a BBBW. Oh, shit, dude. Triple Bs? Triple Bs, dog. The triple Ds? Fucking Wu-Tang style. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but she was like, oh, like, I'll come pick you up if you promise to stay the night. And I was like, all right. So she yeah. came to pick me up. And then uh, we went over there. 
And then uh, she lived by this gas station. And like after we banged like the first time, I was like, I put my like pants on or whatever. And I was like, oh, like I'm just gonna go across the street and like get something to drink. And she's like, okay. And I walked out, like I just grabbed my boxers and like shoved them in my pocket. So I just grabbed some pants on and put it on. And then I left and then I called my buddy and had him come pick me up. And then I was like, just walking down the sidewalk, he picked me up in his car and we went to the bars, like straight, like on the way to the bar, he picked me up and I went out. And I was like hitting on like all these other chicks at the bar with like my underwear in my pocket and shit, like smelling like that. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I was gonna hook up with this one chick, I met her at the bar and then she lived super close. So we walked to her house and then we got there and she didn't want to fuck anymore. So I'm like, Ugh, and I was upset. So in the morning I stole something and left. It was great. <laughs> when I got my buddy's car, he's like, oh, you smell like pussy. And I was like, hell yeah. And then we just went straight to the bar after that. Yeah. What time did you wake up? Uh, that was like, that was like, no, that was like in the day. That was still like after, that was like fucking eight o'clock at night. <laughs> I just, I told her I was going to come back and get something at the gas station. Just never came back. Oh, uh, you literally get told her, I'm going to go get a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> and then never came back. Yeah, dude. Like. And yeah, never, you're, you're just like her father. Oh, <laughs> probably, uh, probably. Yeah, and then she texted me like 20 minutes later, like "fuck you," because it was just like across the street, so I should have been back within like seven minutes. minutes. Yeah, <laughs> and then like 20 minutes later, she's like, "you fucking asshole," and then I was already at the bar, like trying well, to get some pussy. Well, speaking of pussy, you know, the coronavirus. Somebody told me that it's because a guy fucked a bat. Fucked a bat? I thought it's because they ate a bat. Oh, well, I thought it was, like, like AIDS, where somebody <laughs> fucked a monkey. Like, somebody fucked a bat and got fucking... Did they fuck a monkey? Uh, are you sure? Is that how it started? Um, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I'm pretty sure somebody fucked a monkey. Because I, that's what I asked. Like, I think it was, like, one of my, like, my fifth grade teacher. <laughs> well, so, hold on. This is little... How old were you? Like, 12? I don't know. Fifth grade? Like nine or ten maybe i don't know okay you're 10 years old and you're like yeah <laughs> mrs krabappel yeah mrs krabappel uh because they were talking yeah, about monkey. like because well when they were talking about like aids you know they're like oh it, people got them from monkeys and but we already talked about how it was like an std or whatever you know so i was like oh they're having sex with, i was like why are they having sex with monkeys and she's like oh uh they ate it and i was like <laughs> oh. yeah i know like uh <laughs> Yeah, eating some monkey balls, dude. Yeah, yeah. So that then the rest of my life, I was like, oh, they got it from eating it. And then as I got older, and I was like, they were fucking it. <laughs> first time. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I, I don't think a guy fucked a bat or ate a bat. What I think happened was fucking the Chinese are invented a like a weapon to you know a biological weapon. Oh, I agree. America. I agree with that shit, hundred percent, dude. Okay, they were trying to fuck America up. That's why they hit themselves first, right? Hell yeah. They, so they could. Be so they could recover first. They had those protests in Hong Kong, dude. Hong Kong was going fucking balls out, dude. Like protesting and shit. Yeah, like, so they just virus them. Fuck yeah, dude. I believe that shit. China's fucking. Yeah. You can't fucking trust China, dude. Those little fuckers. Yeah, but there's just so many of them. Are it's like that question: Would you fight one uh, duck-sized horse or 100 horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? horse-sized duck you would find a horse-sized duck fuck yeah no dude i would stomp 100 duck-sized horses but how i guess they i mean i think a duck probably would do more damage they gotta like flap their wings and shit like what's a, a horse could bite you though but i guess it's a little mouth yeah but I, it's just a little whatever i could punt like probably three four horses at a time yeah, but after, like, four, I th I, that's a numbers game, dude. Like, they would, like, jump on your face and, like, bite your face. They're not zombies, you know. They're going to run up. They're go I'm going to fuck them up. I'm going to – what if they – you know how hard a horse can kick? What if they, they all just – Not when there's the size of a duck. That's – man, I don't know. Am I armed? Do I have a gun in this situation or am I fighting? You're – you have, like, a club. Oh, uh, a club? I would just do the one, dude, for sure. I go – Nah, dude, that duck will fuck you up. Nah, I fuck it. You ever see it? Can you ever see a swan or a goose? Can it fly? Yeah, it can fly. It's a duck. Oh, fuck. That changes it, dude. I don't know. But that duck's not flying away. He's fucking you up. Yeah, but he can do like an aerial attack, dude. Like the Air Force <laughs> and shit. Oh, yeah? 
damn i never thought about that dude that changes my answer what was the other one like a bunch of little horses yeah, yeah a bunch of little horses yeah i fuck up the horses in i don't want a flying ass duck flying yeah fuck that a big ass duck flying around i don't know mm-hmm. amelia estevez coaching it and like giving it advice and everything who's amelia estevez you never seen the Mighty Ducks? God, you're fucking. You've never no. seen the Mighty Ducks. Oh, you suck, dude. Knuckle puck. Goldberg's fucking homeless now in LA. Well, you said Goldberg? Yeah, I can't believe you never seen Mighty Ducks, bro. Goldberg the goalie. Oh. Is he Jewish? Nah, he's something. That's the first Jew I've seen on the streets. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking like homeless. He was like a little chubby kid, the goalie in Mighty Ducks. The with the orange hair? Mm, no. No. So what else? Uh, so you just been hanging out at home during the quarantine? Yeah, dude. Everything's been broken at work, so um, I've just been chilling at home doing jack for like three weeks. Damn, I still gotta go to the office every fucking day. Well, that's because you're essential, bro. I'm fucking essential, dog. Well, I'm cool. <laughs> So there's just, no traffic, dude. It used to take me an hour to get home, but now it takes 15 fucking minutes, and that is badass. Wait, where do you work? Uh, like Serena Valley. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it takes an hour to get home, dude, for sure. Like on Thursdays, that shit is awful. You should just get a motorcycle. Man, I thought about that shit. I thought about moving to like TJ and getting a motorcycle and just fucking zip zip. I got a motorcycle. Oh, yeah? It's the shit. What kind is it? It's a Triumph T120. I'm going to get a dirt bike, like one of those 1980s, like assassins and shit. No, nah, dude, you should get a Honda. Do you remember how in the 80s, like, everyone was, like, on dirt bikes and shit? Like, people would pull up on a dirt bike with, like, a Uzi and, like, No, I was not alive during the 80s. You missed out on all the good movies, bro. I saw Roadhouse. Oh, there you go. What'd you think about Actually, it? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Actually, I take that back. 9 out of 11. <laughs> a perfect... Uh, I forget. Have you ever seen uh, Point Break? Yeah, that's another great movie. Dude, I fucking love that movie. Johnny Utah. Mm-hmm. Hey, you won the Sugar Bowl? <laughs> I like how everybody knew him, that he knew he was a quarterback for the fucking... Oh, uh, because they had lost or whatever, right? He got hurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, none of the surfer dudes knew. Until they mentioned, like, yeah, yeah. Until the very end. And I'm just like, so how did everybody else know just immediately? That's like how uh, Clark Kent just takes his glasses off and they're like, oh, that's a different yeah. But uh, I've been watching a lot of the, uh, you seen that Tiger King show? Yeah, that's good. Fucking that bitch Carol Baskins? Yeah, dude, she murdered her husband. You think so? Yeah, dude. But what I'm more interested in is um, fucking, you know how, what's the name, Joe Exotic? Yeah, yeah. He has a husband and another husband. He said like three husbands. He has two husbands. Okay. Is that including the guy that like killed himself? Oh, there's another one? Dude, yeah. I'm, I, I haven't gotten that far. Ah, oh, fuck. My bad. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Have, but, you, have you not finished it? Do you watch that shit? Because I, I actually have a job and I fucking have to do shit. You, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I got to go to work. Yeah, well, I'm cool. You've been uh, working on any new material? Not really. I've been just trying to get my money right lately. But, I mean, writing down stuff here and there. I'll probably go talk about how I got vomit on my cock. That's a fucking great bit, dude. But that, that's not even a bit. It's a story. That's a true story. That's the best. You, yeah. you don't have to fucking – it's easy to memorize, dude, because you just it already happens. You just got to put in a tag or two. Bam, bam. And man, you gonna write it for me, right? Oh yeah, I do. We're also gonna write about that fucking those dirty panties that you stole from the girl in Italy. Oh yeah, uh, about how like the fucking um, you, hey, t- hey, for real, dude, I'm gonna come out on top, like selling that shit on eBay. Hell yeah, or dude. Amazon, whoever will let me. How many pairs is it? <laughs> Too many to count. <laughs> Are they all dirty or any of them clean? Um. From what I remember, I think uh, the most of the ones I smelled were dirty. <laughs> if you find any clean ones, like rub them up to get some like dirty ones to get some stink on those too. That would yeah, be- yeah, yeah. I mean, up the value. I mean, that's what we're all about. I'm all about my money, baby. Yeah, dude. 
So, I mean, like, why have you been eating good so so good lately? Did you just get always a always eating good, man? dude. You like those pictures yeah. I post, huh? You just get a raise or something? Uh, well, yeah, I got a raise, but uh, I yielded my boss into, like, buying us lunch and shit at work. Because we were fucking, like, half the – dude, you know what's bullshit? Like, I had to set up a VPN uh, so everybody could work from home. And then I had to still go to the office. I was like, oh, this is some bullshit, bro. What do you need to be in the office for? To look at to look at servers? Uh, just because there's still, like, some people there. And so I got, you know, I got to support the people that are still there. So? They could call you. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever, dude. Like, it's what, I mean, they had, I don't know. But, yeah, we got to be there. But I, I had to set it up so everybody could work from home. And then I got, I can't work from home. Well, how hard is fucking setting up a VPN? Well, I had to, like, set it up, set it up. But, yeah, but, I mean, like, still, fucking... I, then I had to have like a meeting and like install it and show everyone how to install it and how everyone had to connect. And yeah. then like our, uh, actor, our active directory, uh, isn't synced with office 365. So they have like a separate computer login that's different from their email. So no one knows. Oh, that's working. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So no one knows like their fucking actual username because you know, have, you, you know, you could automate that with the PowerShell script, right? Yeah. But they don't want to like sync it and shit. So well, why? It'll just be easier. I just do it. I'm told, dude. That's how I stay out yeah. of trouble. Do they have teams too? Oh yeah, we got teams. That's how I do it. Microsoft everything. teams. Yeah. And, and you guys got SharePoint then too. I told you, fucking hook me up with the job. Now they don't have. We don't have like specialized. Everyone's just like the general. Yeah, well, that's why you need an expert. Yeah, that's why they, they need, need the big bucks. Yeah, no, dude. They need to pay me the big bucks. What kind of company is it? Uh, just biotech. Uh, word. Yeah. That's why we gotta be there. Welcome. We're fucking fixing this virus, dog. This Chinese virus. A uh, word, oh, yeah. dude. It's not a fucking virus. It's a weapon. It is a fucking weapon. Fuck yeah. Hey, you see those dudes saying it's a five G? Five G is causing this. I don't believe that shit though. Yeah, I don't believe that shit at all. But I do think China did this shit on purpose, dude. Yeah, me too. Well, of course they did. This well, was in response to the trade war. Well, did you see? Like, uh, I think the World Health Organization is just like parroting uh chinese propaganda too yeah well because, guess who lines their pockets yeah fucking bill gates and fucking china china yeah. fucking uh endorsed like that the dude what's his name to get elected who like the the lead the head of like the world health organization whatever that fucking dude's name is yeah i don't know but they fucking i know on january 14th like the world health organization tweeted out on january 14th that like oh according to like reports out of china there's no evidence that uh, it's contagious from person to person. And they said that on January 14th. And then it's just like, so how are they going to act like Trump didn't do something? They're like, oh, Trump didn't listen to the advisors when the advisors said that it's not even contagious. And then he banned, wow. and then he banned travel from China. And they're like, oh, you're racist. And it's like, what the fuck, dude? They're like, what the hell's wrong with you people? They're fucking liberals? Yeah, they're fucking retarded, dude. Cause yeah, because like the WHO said it's not contagious. And then even like uh, like a week after that, like Dr. Fauci was like, "Oh, Americans have nothing to worry about. Like, literally yeah. don't worry about." And then you see like there's like that montage of like all the news organizations saying shit like, "Oh, it's just the flu. It's just the flu." Wash your hands. I don't watch that shit, man. I can't watch that shit anymore. Yeah, I feel it's like just a, it's a it's a fucking cartoon show. The media is so fucking awful, dude. They're all so fucking garbage. Like, yeah, right. well, because it's all bullshit. So I mean, like you're just pumping your head with propaganda. You're just gonna pick your own propaganda. But, like, I watch it for entertainment because I already know it's all bullshit. So it's, like, fun for me to watch. Like, oh, that's what they're saying? Like, even though I already – you know what I mean? Like, I just want to know what other no, people are thinking. you just like to fight with people. Yeah, I do like to fight with people. It's fun, though, because they're always wrong. That's what makes it fun. Yeah. If I wasn't right all the time, I wouldn't fucking fight with people. I just happen to be right all the time. So. Yeah, I wish my girlfriend knew that. You can't ever win with a woman, dude. Well, not you can if she can't speak English. Hell yeah. Well, that's like a draw, right? You can't really win or lose that. Well, I mean, I get my point across. She just doesn't understand. <laughs> I mean, you're still going to get yelled at regardless, so I'm, I could still win. Right. I, could say, I could say some shit. She's like, what does that mean? So, what, uh, so how do you communicate then if she doesn't speak English? I mean, she speaks enough. Like, you want fuck now? Um, <laughs> tupuku, tupuku. <laughs> actually dude that happened she's like you make my pussy hurt 
Hell yeah. And now when now when I'm on sex, I go, hey, you want you want me to hurt your pussy? <laughs> you want me you don't say that, dude. I do. Fucking terrible. And man. she's like, why are your dick so big? I was like, I didn't even know my dick was big. How tall was she? I don't know, like five foot something. She's short. There you go. Now, yeah. So you've been together like a month? No, no, no. We've been together since like November. So however many months that is. So how long? So you basically met her right for, before Christmas and shit then, right? Yeah. So did you have, so, okay, that's like long enough. You have to get her like a real present and shit, huh? Um, I did get, I got her, what did I get her? I got her an Apple Watch. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I feel like uh, that's like I feel like that's like something they would do like on Seinfeld. Like George would be dating a girl for like a month, and he'd be like, "Uh, oh, like I don't want to, like I don't want to spend like a, a year present or some shit," you know? Yeah. But now you know I got this new job, so I'm balling. It's balling, cool. dog. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe they're they're paying me this much money to dick around on the internet. Man, see now you're too successful. You can't fucking do comedy anymore. You fucking. Well, you're... dude, it's remote, so I can now. Fucking, you're gonna lose the hunger, fucking money bags. No, dude, I fucking. It's not even about the money. I just like to go with bullshit. That's so I already know how to make money. I don't need to fucking tell jokes to make money. Damn, damn, yeah. huh? I can't wait for this shit to be over, dude. And I mean, to be honest, man, it's not been so bad for me. It's just been like I have. I live in a sick place. I got a fucking dog now. Uh, I got Super Smash Brothers. Three fifty or sixty inch TVs and one roommate. Yeah, dude. Like honestly, like this has been like the best month for <laughs> like for me. Yeah, dude. Like there's no traffic. Yeah. Like there's less people at work, so there's actually less work for me to do. No traffic, fucking. And I got a raise, you know, I'm making more money. Fucking eating got good. Got ceramic plates. Hell yeah, dude. No paper plates, bitch. Hell yeah. I'm I'm over here by the beach, bro. I got the good view and shit. Yeah. Yeah, dude, shit's good. I know. Well, yeah, we should, we should, uh, we should come over for a barbecue after, after, okay. this, after the pandemic's over. Oh yeah, dude. Now that you're right up the street. <laughs> I thought you uh, were like, I thought you were like up in like Encinitas or whatever. No, nah, that's too far. I thought you were was, way up north. No, nah, no, nah, fuck that. I mean, I would live in Encinitas, but I would need like way more money than I have now. Oh, dude, the best part about dating a Thai chick, well, if I do end up marrying her, I could buy land in Thailand. Oh, really? Yeah, dude, I'm going to fucking, I want to, I'm going to buy an apartment complex and then get the money off of that to get like a seaside villa. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's one of the advantages of being in a Thai chick. Yeah, I know. And she's pretty cool. She cooks and shit, too. She even said, like, oh, yeah, uh, the woman's job is to be in the kitchen and to clean the house. And I was just like, you know, they don't make the – I really think that, that fucking – You got uh, these boring shit for that shit. For dude, me. I'm telling you, these domestic <laughs> – These domestic girls are, aren't built right. You got to – these, but the imports. Imports are built to a high standard. I know. She's on point. It's on command. It's like comparing a BMW to a Chevy, bro. It's like yeah. Oh. I mean, when she said, "You you want fuck now?" and I was just like, "Baby, you know, I've never heard such more like a beautiful like." She even got rid of all the bullshit words like you you do you want to fuck now? No do no want. It's just you want fuck or no do yeah you want fuck now? Uh. I mean, yeah, I guess like she doesn't. I mean, if she's if she's too busy like cooking and cleaning and fucking, I guess she doesn't really need to be doing all that much talking, you know. So. Yeah, and she's working too, you know. Damn. So you don't even really have to talk to her then. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, you, it's just, it's still the same bullshit. That's cross. Wait, does she live with you? Um, no, but pandemic time, it's she's been over a lot. Oh, uh, okay. Works in a restaurant, so you know, it's like cut hours and all that shit. So you guys about to I had to lay that shit. I had to lay that shit down a couple times. Did uh? So you guys have a little quarantine baby coming up? No, 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 not that. I had to like let her know who's the boss. Oh uh, yeah, you choke her or what? No, I had to like fucking tell her what's. Up. She was like pouting because I got the dog, and she was like, "Oh, the dog. You pay attention to the dog more than me." And I'm sitting over here like, "Yo, I'm not dealing with this shit." And she's just like. 
I, I got up. I left. Yeah, she's had, learning. She's learning English quick. <laughs> I know, dude. So I've been like I said, I have to show her what's up. How'd you do so, that? Got up and left and told her to fucking hey. Once you're feeling better, come come over tomorrow. And then she threw up on your dick. No, dude. I think she liked me even more. There you go, dude. That's what yeah. it is, man. They just want a fucking strong man to tell them what to do. That's what they yeah. all want deep down inside. That hurts her pussy. That yeah, hurts it, dude. Fucking yeah. Mr. Kevin. Did she call you Mr. Kevin? No, but when when she wants sex, she goes, please. <laughs> it's hot, dude. Yeah. Well, shit, dude, my, my battery's almost dead. I got to get going. Yeah, man. Thanks for joining me, dude. Fucking. Yeah, that no, was fun. I can't wait to see the feedback. Yeah, yeah. Stay safe out there, dude. All right, dude. Take care. All right, man. Peace, dude.